It's Brad, aka Tartan Ninja, and I finally have a freighter. I need to get rid of you. So, oh lord. There we go. So you have a lot of options with with freighters. Uh, it's really kind of interesting. Uh, these are all storage units, so I have extra storage. Uh, there we go. Uh, and there. Oh, hey, hey, hey. So yeah, you can build hallways and staircases and this is a room for controlling or distributing exocraft. Uh, good lord, there's a lot of crap here. Uh, this... Um, all right. It's more storage. I might have to play around with this a bit more. Yeah, I was absolutely dumbfounded with... This is a room here that just comes with it. And I was able to get a weapons person and a construction person. Uh, yeah, this... I can delete all this stuff. But I was just kind of interested in playing around with it. But what's cool is you can put in a teleporter here. So I can teleport from a base directly into my freighter, which is kind of nice. Uh, I am going to get lost in here, so... Uh, I'm going to have to put up some kind of stickers and whatnot. Alright, I'm trying to find a room that I built. Oh, no, I can't find where the hell it is. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. I am going to be getting rid of some stuff so I don't... make a damn maze. Tighten some things up here. So I've got all this storage, but I did... There's a room that they ask you to make called the Fleet Command Room. And I built it, and now I just need to find where the hell I put it. This is the story of my life. Hell, maybe I didn't build it. Maybe I didn't. Um... Sorry, bear with me here. That's all 
pretty stuff. What? What I'm looking for right now is orbital. Eh. Can I put it here? Uh, the answer to that is no, because there's a staircase there. All right, what if I, you know, it makes sense to put it just outside of, there we go. That's the bridge. Okay, so now I can actually utilize this guy here and we can set off to do Interesting. So it's like different exploratory. You go to a location, do a thing. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. I need to talk to the captain and see what's new and exciting with him. Okay, so we have a way to just pop stuff over. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing there is just a lot of different decorative... Oh, hey! Who are you? Okay. Interesting. the space station for this system. I do not need to manage the fleet, but I am looking to head on out. I would like to find... So we're going to warp and take a look and see what we can see.
times at this point. Yeah, we are... We are hell and gone from where we were. gonna pop out and see if there is a space station here. Ah, uh, that's a big yes. Hit the bricks and see what we got. Oops, wrong button. There we go. Hmm. Whoa. Bite me, sir and or madam. The nice thing about being in creative mode is you can just generate the gifts. Uh, if we were playing the game regular, you would have to find these gifts and give them. some more words. I kind of like learning the mystery symbols because typically that's like is the and it starts to fill out the sentences a bit more. I think I just got R. Yeah, I just got the word R. So I'm starting to understand a little bit more finally. And somebody popped in. Sorry, I need to turn off my volume. Ah, Nate! Thanks, man. Yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. I miss having Mel here, but she and Eddie were doing a walkthrough of a new house that they're looking at this evening. So... We may end up streaming again tomorrow. But I was... here and... interested in doing some... No Man's Sky, so that's why 
I figured I'd just go ahead. And I really wanted to try and get a freighter. And I have... I have accomplished this. <sighs> Let's see... You know, I haven't taken any aggression symbols. Oh, well, there we go. Death. Yeah. They're a cheery race, the Viking. Hmm. Well, I keep hitting the jump button. <laughs> Alright. Just need to learn more of your language, sir and or madam. Uh... Alright, now I'm just gonna go with that. Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. And the thing I would worry is if I were able to kind of jump back and forth, if that wouldn't screw over Melissa. So I'm nervous to give it a shot. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'd be afraid of gumming the whole thing up. We had such an issue with... Oh, I do not want to do that. No missions. Thank you. Uh, we had such an issue with... Um, you know, like our construction on, on the planets phasing in and out <laughs> uh, when we were doing it through Melissa's setup. Um... So we switched to mine and basically just started over. Um, so I'm kind of... I'm, I'm leery of pushing that boundary yet. But we'll see. Let's take that upgrade. Alright. Do you have any... Good thing I learned the word death, huh? <sighs> Alright, what good stuff do you have here? Alright, I have those asses. Okay, I may have tricked out my exosuit as much as I possibly can. Not interested in those modules. Pathetic. Yeah, there we go. Uh, ah, this is for the ship. I'm gonna buy that. So the levels go C, D, A, S. So when I find S's, I try to pick them up. And I'm also on the search for, ooh, that is an A-class. My current weapon is, I think it's a C or B. I think... I think I'm gonna exchange... Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know... I picked it up... <laughs> I picked it up at the point... Like, a... A, uh, a number of months after it had been released and everybody 
hated this game because a lot of the things that they promised that they would have on launch wasn't there. Sound familiar? <laughs> but over the years, they've really added a lot to it. And it's a very interesting... If you're not playing in creative mode, it's very much resource management. And slowly working through and building up <clears throat> your exosuit, your uh, your your uh, your weapon slash mining um, weapon, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, it, multi multi tool is what they call it. Your ship, and you can upgrade your ship. You can uh, if you. Uh, gather units from selling what you mine. You can buy other ships and try to, you know, kind of work your way up to having, you know, better, faster, stronger stuff. Um, and then getting a freighter is the end all, beat all. Because then you've got all that extra storage for what you mine. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different things that go into this, and it's it is it is fascinating. Um, okay. Hell yeah. Boop, boop, boop. What are you? Let's see, if I have that, I don't think that I need... Yeah, I don't think I need that. Let's see, bolt caster. So that reduces reload, that reduces recoil, okay. Um, I'm not wearing my, I still can't find my glasses. So I'm kind of, uh, enables ricochet. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Boop, boop. Yeah, so I kind of gave you a wandering, almost non-answer. Um, yes, it's it, it is interesting. It is fun, um, especially you know, thinking of like Fallout seventy six, uh, looking at it partially through that lens. Having the ability to build, uh, like with the uh, multi-tool, the terrain manipulator, you can flatten land, you can, you know, add on, subtract from, um, and then there's a, we've circumvented it because we're, we're doing this in creative mode, but if you get a construction workstation and then get a higher a GEC to come they will start to give you plans to build new and different things um, you know uh, the extended walkways windows so on and so forth and you know it allows you to 
you know, open up and, and, and build whatever the heck you want to build. And that's what I think appeals to Melissa and I so much. Uh, yeah. It's just being able to build whatever the heck we want to build. nervous that if I don't do that I don't know if what I inst if I need this to use the other bit that I inst I don't know I guess we'll find out and I don't oh you can upgrade the technology of your freighter mm. I guess I'm going to have to get on my freighter and goof around there. So needless to say, back when I did buy the game, I got it at GameStop <laughs> for like a third of the price uh, of what it was, you know, of, of the price it was released at. And, you know, it... It's been a good investment. I've had a lot of fun with the game. But I think it... It's nice... You know, once they created the multiplayer, that really... really opened things up. Um, it made it a lot more fun, that's for sure. And especially if you, you're playing with somebody that... Uh, kind of has the same style uh, and interests as, you know... You know, like, Melissa and I both like to build. So, that's been fun. I'm sure if you, you know, had a, a few people that... You know, like to, to mine and whatever you would you would also be able to get out get out of it whatever you're uh, interested in as well oh missed there it is Just holding down the button will cause it to overheat eventually. And again, there's modules you can purchase to help keep your weapons cool while you're firing them. Ooh, that's a bigger one. That's what she said. Yeah, now that I've gotten to the point where there's there's freighters, 
that flash of Okay. I'm getting all sorts of warning lights. Oh! Whoops! God, I hope they were far enough away. Well, what's the worst that could happen, right? Unfortunately, I can't. I have a cat on my lap and I can't get up to see, get closer to the TV to see what the hell's going on. I'm guessing they're neutral? Because they haven't, like, blown me up yet, so. I have increased my fleet. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Okay, I, I can get a crew? Or... Oh, you can actually go around and... Oh, wow. This is nuts. Dude, I'm actually gonna build a fleet. Like a legit free... Uh, f fleet. Oh. I would m like to... No. So you are not for sale. You are... See that? Ho! 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 Okay, so stuff isn't... I'm not getting the kind of klaxon sound, so that means he's not hailing me to see if I want other ships. Yeah, I could attack one of these ships, but... The ass-whipping I would receive would be monumental. 
I think it's... Okay, that's a cargo pod. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Support. Sure. All right. I think I've got enough ships now. Good lord. Okay. Uh, we're... Yep. I am... I am done collecting ships. Because I have a feeling I'm going to have to go on each ship and... You know, pad it out. Uh, okay. <laughs> that is crazy. Is that my freighter? I think it. I think it is. Hang on. Uh. uh yes, that is mine. Okay. Oh, because I've got the fleet command room. Oh, Jesus. Let's fire on my own ship. Because that's what smart people do. Alright, pull me in. Oh, for pity's sake. There we go. Alright, now I've got part of a fleet I can... take with and do stuff. This is crazy. <clears throat> We've just, like, majorly jumped scopes here. <laughs> All right. I want to see... Yeah, okay. Oh! Yeah, this is not... My freighter, I don't think. Not my regular one. No, it's not, because all my stuff is not here. Okay. So basically, I've kind of constructed a Viking fleet. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, this is a whole different... Holy shit! Warp efficiency... Hyperdrive range is longer, and I can I can increase it. 
Okay. Gonna transfer items. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Shit just got real here. Okay. Let's... Okay, so... Shielding that just sounds important. Boop, boop, boop. Missed it. There we go. <clears throat> Amplified warp shielding warp core resonator. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do can manage my fleet warp. This is the one I want. Need to start upgrading the ever-loving shit out of this thing. Oh, I already know it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright, cool. So, I need to deal with storage, though. I like how it <laughs> boots you out. Yeah, if if I was not in creative mode, there's no way in the world I would be able to do this. So we've done that. Is there. Oh, no. Wrong one. I've got. I've got all the upgrades, right? Oh! What? Freighter recoloring. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I guess the last thing we have to do here is make it pretty. Oh, it even even kept the colors, right? Oh, it did not keep the color. Oh, hang on. Why does it look green? <laughs> Damn it. Ugh. Yikes. That looks fucking terrible. There. Why is that green? Wait, is it gonna... Come on, bring it. Alright, one more time. I want to see... That was just sitting out. <laughs> now there's an asteroid in the way. <laughs> All right, yep, you're pretty. Oh no, there we go. Oh, I thought it locked up. All right, what can you do? Trade Expedition. Man, I don't feel like I'm ready for that yet. I'm sorry, dude. I am sorry. Oh, nice! Well, that's cool. So basically it took the, the template of what I had on my main freighter and just pulled it over. Okay. Nice. I will well, did it? Oh, yep, here's my fleet command room. Yep, we don't have a... Whoa. Whoo. Okay. Okay. Wow. You know what? We're gonna jump. Jump to the next system. How much further can I go now? <gasps> what? Viking? I'm not sure who that is, but hell yeah, we're going. All right. We'll see what's what. Jumping two systems.
Hmm. We are finally in a GET system. That means that this system is predominantly populated by the Gek aliens. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, wow. Wait. Is that one of mine? So that one's mine, because it's all blue. Whoa! Easy! Can I land in this thing? No. Wow. Let's shoot up your own ship. Yeah, I don't think that I can. Oh! go in, but I can land. Oh! <laughs> this is how I fell through outer space before uh, in a previous playthrough. It's like, oh, I want to take a look at the rest of the ship. And I fell off. Nothing for me to see, but I still wanted to take a look. Yeah, there isn't a way in there. And now I've got to get back up there. This should be interesting. Uh, I think Does this go up. It does not. All right. So... Okay... Oh, okay. We are in dangerous territory. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Alright, let's just get back to the damn ship. Oh, that's how you can... okay. I just took a shortcut. Or does this... oh yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Okay. 
No, do not. There we go. Oh, okay. Nice. it. I cannot go any further forward. Okay. What do we got over here? thing but in reverse were I a betting man boop yep all right the more you know <clears throat> all right let's go back to the ship do this. Go into the space station. Alright. And there you are. It's quite a ways off, too. Alright. So, whereas before with the space stations, where we mostly saw Viking, now we'll see Gek. And what I'm interested in seeing, too, is... Because now we're in... I don't know if this is essentially higher level now and if we're gonna see more cool and more interesting things because I would really like to get some upgrades for my freighter but I haven't seen any yeah envoy haven't seen any place that does that yet So we're going to talk to some Gek and try to get more Gek language here. Hi. Alright. Hey, friend. Oh, he might have the, uh, there's Geknip, which is basically like 
I'm guessing catnip. Uh, let's see. We'll do that. All right. Oh, Kovacs. Or Corvax, sorry. The reason why you give gifts is it helps increase your standing with that race. learn some more language. Ah, <sighs> technology. Research. Alright. I don't think I've talked to you. Met a lot of aliens. Look at me go. I just want to talk to this dude. There we go. Yes, you are now my agriculture guy. All right. Uh, I, I talked to him. We are... Did I talk to him already? Yes. What's the new ship that's... Oh, definitely... Yeah, no. I don't... Th well, I wonder. We're in a Gek system. The Gek pilot? Yep. All right, I want to see what you got. It's a C-class ship. No thank you. I want to get a ship that starts at a higher level. I mean, I could go to that unit over there and take it all the way up to S class, but Hello. one, but whatever.
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> Interesting. And this is the other part of the game is the mystery. What is Atlas? We've had this same conversation on a different ship. What you're seeing here is this is the solar system that we are currently in. So this planet has a moon. It has two moons. Oh, wow. I have not seen a planet like that yet. Okay. Well, I definitely want to explore this system. Can I... offer you a gift? Okay, so that was just a one-time thing. Alright. Oh, hey. He was a trade person. I need to know more about that. Um, let's see if I have stuff to sell. Uh, oh, it did give me gave me frigate fuel. Okay. Good to know. Really? Ah, what are you doing? Oh, I shifted. So, leave the freighter. Got a geode. Might as well sell that. Not very valuable. Feline lip. I need to get it out of here. Condensed carbon. Okay, we're done here. Oh, I already went that way. And there was no units or anything to get here. Okay, so... Yeah, he's just gonna have scrap. I don't think I can learn words from him, so I think we're going to push on. I do want to... 
create at least a small base on one of the planets here. Because I want <clears throat> Mel to be able to skip ahead. Let's see... Poisonous planet. Okay, well, that... Well, this has got a moon somewhere. Uh... Alright, well, let's just... It's going to take a while. So we're going to do this. Alright. Oh! 